Okay guys, it's Valentine's weekend and Weston's doing a little bit of some funness. What are you doing with those flowers, Weston? I'm holding them. You're holding them? Are you giving them to people? And then what are you saying? Happy Valentine's. Yeah, happy Valentine's. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I just woke up, so I have no makeup on, and it's not looking all that great right now. Hopefully, you can look past this and give me some of your time because I want to have a little chit chat with you, okay? And I thought, like, what better time than without the kids in the car or hanging on me because now I can get serious with you. All right, so yesterday, um, after our afternoon nap, I got Weston and Carson dressed up in a little red. During nap time, I spent, um, I listened to music on the back porch. I went and got a bunch of flowers from Trader Joe's and I made little mini bouquets. And um, I just had the best time, like, enjoying the music, sipping on coffee, because coffee is always involved in good moments, and um, just really thinking about love, the people that I love in my life, um, gratefulness, and um, you know, all the pretty things, pretty cheesy things that come with Valentine's. I love it all. I love it all. So I really enjoyed that yesterday during nap time. But like the full circle of it all was to pass out those bouquets that I made in a shopping center. I'll let Weston do it. So after we, after Kent got home, we ventured out to the shopping center and we passed out those bouquets. Um, my main reason for doing that was to kind of use it as a lesson to teach Weston about kindness, about love, about doing for others, about bringing a smile to somebody's face. And um, I want to do it with him every year. And so I thought, what better year to start than this year? He's two and a half. So he's not going to fully get the lesson that he will later down the road, but he had a really great time doing it. But my main goal for this was to teach Weston something. But what got out of it was I got a huge lesson myself. And I'm going to try to talk about this without crying. Look at that. I'm already crying. Okay. Let me, let me collect myself for a second. Um, I posted a vlog of us passing out these flowers, but y'all, we passed out over 30 bouquets and I just felt a little awkward, like holding a camera in people's face as we were doing it. And that's not why I did this. I didn't do this to like get a viral video or to have people like it or to, to use it as like, you know, blog bait. I didn't do that. I did it because I really wanted to spread kindness and joy and use it as a lesson to teach my son. So, um, a few of you guys knew that we were doing it and you were asking that I documented it or posted pictures. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I want to do this with him every year. And so it would be fun to kind of document like the first year he does it. So I took a little tiny clip and um, I put that on, on Sunday's blog post. We did a Valentine's blog post. So you'll see that you will, it's already up right now. So if you go check hanging with the Hueys.com, um, link for all of that's below. You can see the boys Valentine pictures that I shot super cute. And then you can watch like a little tiny clip from him passing out flowers. Again, it is, is so small because I didn't want to it was just weird. I didn't feel right about having the camera out while we were doing it. So anyways, um, like I said, I did it to teach Weston a lesson, but what I got from it was these people that we pass every day. Um, it, it could be you that I pass, um, Joe Schmo, 
I don't even think twice. Like, I'm just walking. I'm doing my thing. I'm in the shuff, shuff, huff, hustle and bustle of life. I've got my boys with me. I, <clears throat> I just kind of, like, stay in my own little bubble. But yesterday, um, we had conversations with so many strangers. We, um, we were hugged. Weston was high-fived. People got down on his level and talked to him. Um, <clears throat> we saw some really genuine smiles. Um, people tried to give Weston things. It was just like overwhelming the amount of kindness that we saw from that event yesterday. But what I was trying to do was I was trying to spread kindness. We were trying to spread happiness and love and people just threw it right back at us tenfold. And I wasn't expecting that. I was honestly, I was expecting for people to be a little like, what are you doing? And no, I don't want to buy your flowers and get away from me, strange people. And oh my gosh, that's kind of what I was expecting. Like maybe that makes me sound like a bad person, but you know, we live in a world where, um, with Mary Kay pushers, go watch that video if you haven't seen the story. Um, people selling things all the time and, and, um, unfortunately it's not very common for someone to stand on the side of the road and pass out flowers for free and send love, you know, it's not a very common thing. So I was kind of, I was kind of expecting people to be a little thrown off. And so was Kent. He was like warning me to get me set up for this like failure that he thought was going to happen. But out of, um, over 30, I think we passed out close to 40 bouquets, but I'm not really sure. Um, only one person declined the flowers only one person and I think that's pretty special um, and each time Weston walked up to people they were just genuinely happy and surprised and for that split second that we chatted with them and Weston gave them those flowers he brought a little joy to their day and that was what it was all about um, there were a couple times there were little girls there and he gave like the mom and the little girl flowers and oh my gosh every single time he went up to somebody my eyes would fill with tears just seeing like my sweet little boy go up with these flowers hand them just hand them to somebody and just see like genuine I know I keep saying it but they were like just genuinely so happy and it was like nothing like hard that we did or expensive or big or time consuming and it was just nice that like we could, br we could bring a little joy to those people's lives for that quick second, you know? Nobody knows what um, what anybody's going through. Somebody could have had an amazing day. Somebody could have had a rough day. Somebody could have gotten some really bad news. Somebody could be, like, doing the same thing we did, like, tomorrow. I don't know. But what I do know for those few moments that we were with them, they were happy. And they were people with their own paths and their own stories and their own journeys. And it just reminded me to not get so caught up in myself and what I'm doing with my kids and my own family. Everybody that I pass has a journey, has a story, has a mother, a father. And I just, I, I forget that. I forget that, you know, like you just take kind of like the presence of others for granted. And, um, it just kind of reminded me that there's so many good, there's so much good out there to see people like Weston give them flowers. And one lady tried to give him some of her pretzel. <laughs> And then one lady had come out of like TJ Maxx or something and she had bought a bunch of candy and she was like, oh my gosh, can I please give him some candy? And um, I mean, I let her because it was like wrapped and stuff and, and he was over the moon for the candy. And then one lady, like she was just so, oh my gosh, this was so cute. So Weston gave her, the mom the flowers and then she had a little girl and so Weston gave the little girl flowers and every time he's passing them out I'm telling him to say like happy Valentine's Day and um, I hope you have a great day and um, he handed them to the little girl and the little girl just looked at him and said happy Valentine's Day back to him oh my gosh like I I almost like lost it right then they were so sweet and then they left and they came back like later and she rolled her window down and she she um just tried to give me money <laughs> and I said no that's not what this is about I'm not taking money from you um we're trying to spread love and if you give me that money that cancels out the good that I'm trying to do because then I need to do something back to you so enjoy your flowers but I just it was just like so heart touching how much people felt like they needed to do back for us but that wasn't what it was about you know so all in all it was just a really beautiful experience Kent and uh, Carson were there too but y'all Kent's like kind of a, a quiet shy person so he was like way off in the corner hanging out with Carson he didn't really even see like what all went down and so 
I, I don't really have anybody to like share the experience with because nobody really saw it besides me and Weston, but it was pretty touching. Um, obviously I got emotional at the beginning of talking about this with you guys and um, I'm going to do it as long as he'll let me do it. And I hope that older he gets, the more he'll get out of it. And I think he will. And, um, I'm already looking forward to next year. So it was pretty, it was pretty amazing and, um, taught me a lot of things. So yeah, before I start crying again, let's get on with today's.